بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد النبي العربي الأمي الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praises due to Allah Peace and blessings be upon the messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Do you want success? Do you want change? It cannot be obtained unless the sunnah of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم comes into our life Unless we practice, really practice the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tarakana ala al-mahajjati al-bayda layluha kanaharihha. He left us on a clear path, on a clear road. It's night, it's like it's day. No difference. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left us on this right path. On this clear road. So the reason behind the confusion that we live nowadays is that because the, the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is missing in our life. Is missing in our life. What is the, the current, the modern understanding of the sunnah of Rasulullah وسلم? If I ask you, if I said to you that this is sunnah of Rasulullah وسلم, how does your mind interpret this automatically? If you ask me, is this fard or sunnah? I say to you, this is sunnah. How does your mind interpret this automatically? It's optional, right? It's optional, so I have the luxury whether to do it or not. You know, the difference between us and the Sahaba, the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is that, I'm sorry to say that, is that we lift every sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because it's only sunnah. And they did every sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because it was sunnah. You see? They performed every sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No, the issue of that optional, the issue, this issue wasn't amongst them. This concept of, of just the optional things, I have the luxury whether to do it or to leave it, wasn't amongst the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They did every single sunnah. They practiced what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was doing automatically. But our point here is that the, the first thing that jump into our mind when we say that is sunnah, okay, I leave it. Shaykh, is it fard or sunnah? Is it sunnah? Ah, alhamdulillah, I thought it is fard. So I thought I had to do that. Okay, I can leave it. It's sunnah. No, you have to change your concept of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, this uh, uh, issues or this concept or this understanding of optional, in fact, came years later after, after the sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Came years later after the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, when the ulama, when the scholars was forced to, to uh, uh, differentiate between fara and sunnah, for example, when, when, uh, when someone asked, if the sun already rised and I still didn't pray Salat al-Fajr, I was sleeping or whatever, do I have to start, do I have to pray the actual fard first or the sunnah? So the ulama at that time was forced to differentiate between fard and sunnah as far as the priority is concerned. But not just to, to let us, that's just an optional, so the first, thing you, uh, the first thing you think about is to leave it. No. We have to go back to, our, to the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa because it, it is the only way. Don't say it is the best way. We don't have many, many ways, so we can choose the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa No, it is the only way. You don't have any other options. The only way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُوا الرسول and obey Allah uh, obey the messenger. When you follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you already follow, you already obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You already practice what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to do. So the point today is just to try to change this concept about the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, sometimes or when we have to, to differentiate between sunnah and fard, of course the fard has the priority, right? But the point is not to have this concept. 
the whole concept, a general concept that every sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi is just optional. So the first thing I have to, to make this rest, I have to uh, uh, neglect this or I have to, I, I can leave it or I have the choice to leave it, so I will leave it. No, start first by trying to do the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi because it's the only way that brings you on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only way that will push you to, to, to have this pleasure from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yarzuqana wa iyakum ittiba'a sunnati nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let us follow our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.